we're told that for the past few months, Old Maple Farms has grown about a thousand more apples than their chief rival in the region, River Orchards. Due to cold weather this year, the harvests at both farms were down by about a third. However, both farms made up for some of this shortfall by purchasing equal they purchased equal quantities of apples from farms in neighboring in neighboring states. What can you say about the number of apples available at each farm? Does one farm have more than the other, or do they have the same amount? How do I know? So let's let's define some variables here. Let's let's let let's let m be equal to number of apples apples at at Maple Farms. At Maple Farms. And then who's the other guy? River Orchard. So let's R be equal to the number of apples at River River Orchards. So this first sentence they say, let me do this in different color. They say for the past few years, old Maple Farms has grown about 1,000 more apples than their chief rival in the region, River Orchards. So we could say, hey, you know, Maple is approximately uh, Old River, or M is approximately River plus 1,000. Or, but since we don't know the exact amount, it says it's about 1,000 more, so we don't know it's exactly 1,000 more. We can just say that in a normal year, Old Maple Farms, which we denote by M, has a larger amount of apples than River Orchard. So in a normal year, M is greater than R, right? It has about 1,000 more apples at Old Maple Farms. Now, they say due to cold weather this year, so let's talk about this year now, the harvest at both farms were down about a third. Were down about a third. So this is in a normal year. Let's talk about what's going to happen this year. In this year, each of these characters are going to be down by a third. Now, if I go down by a third, that's the same thing as being 2 thirds of what I was before. Let me do an example. If I'm at x and I take away 1 third x, I'm left with 2 thirds x. I'm left with 2 thirds x. So going down by a third is the same thing as multiplying the quantity by 2 thirds. So if we multiply each of these quantities by 2 thirds, we can still hold this inequality because we're doing the same thing to both sides of this inequality. And we're multiplying by a positive number. If we were multiplying by a negative number, we would have to swap the inequality. So we can multiply both sides of this by 2 thirds. So 2 thirds of m is still going to be greater than 2 thirds of r. And you could even draw that in a number line if you like. Let's do this in a number line. This all might be a little intuitive for you, and if it is, I apologize. But if it's not, it never hurts. So that's zero on our number line. So in a normal year, in a normal year, m is has a thousand more than r. So in a normal year, m might be over here, and maybe r is over here. You know, I don't know. What it, let's say r is over there. Now, if we take two thirds of m, if we took two thirds of m, that's going to stick us someplace around. Oh, I don't know. 2 thirds is looks like right about there. So that says m, this is, let me write this. This is 2 thirds m. And what's 2 thirds of r going to be? Well, if you take 2 thirds of this, you get to right about there. That is 2 thirds r. So you can see 2 thirds r is still less than 2 thirds m. 2 thirds r is still less than 2 thirds m, or 2 thirds m is greater than 2 thirds r. Now, they say both farms they say both farms made up for some of the shortfall by purchasing equal quantities of apples from farms in neighboring states so let's let let's let a b let's a be equal to the quantity of apples of apples both purchased both purchased so they're telling us that they both purchased the same amount. So we could add a to both sides of this equation. It will not change the inequality. As long as you add or subtract the same value to both sides, it will not change the inequality. So if you add a to both sides, you have a plus 2 thirds m is greater than 2 thirds r plus a. This is the amount that old Maple Farms has after purchasing the apples. And this is the amount that, what's it called, River Orchards has. 
So after everything is said and done, old Maple Farms still has more apples. And you can see that here. Maple Farms, normal year. This year, they only had 2 thirds of the production. But then they purchased A apples. So let's say A is about, let's say that A is, I don't know, that many apples. So they got back to their normal amount. So let's say they got back to their normal amount. So that's how many apples they purchased. So he got back to M. Now, if R, if old, if river orchards also produce purchased A apples, that same distance, A, if you go along here, gets you to right about over there. So once again, this is, let me do it a little bit different, because I don't like it overlapping. So let me do it like this. So let's say this guy, M, I keep forgetting their names, Old Maple Farms, pur purchases A apples. Gets them that far, so that's A apples. but. River Orchards also purchases A apples. So let's add that same amount. I'm just going to copy and paste it so it's the exact same amount. Copy and paste. So Old River or <laughs> River Orchards also purchases A. So it also purchases that same amount. So when all is said and done, River Orchards is going to have this many apples in the year that they had less production, but they went and purchased it. So this right here is, this value right here is 2 thirds R. 2 thirds R plus A. That's what River Orchards has. And then Old Maple Farms has this value right here, which is 2 thirds M plus A. Everything said and done, Old Maple Farms still has more apples.